Members of Finland going on the hunt here. They have him Z block, fantastic wall. And now you'll see they'll probably start to back up ZP, get set up. They don't want to get too over aggressive here and get picked off coming off the spot. So keeping in mind that Finland really does need to kill almost everyone here without suffering losses in turn, their best chance of winning this is the window that they're going to have between Time Moon and Zappa. Zappa's one of the nano boost on the Time Moon. He's not going to have a death blossom, but still really, really effective let Time Moon go in there. If that doesn't work out for them, and if more of Pimsy doesn't get an early pick, I can't see Finland taking this point. So Finland, that's what to look on to here, and maybe Moppa can set them up here with this Graviton as well. Yeah, and I think uh, they'll have the Graviton, obviously, and they will also have Zappa's with the nano boost here in just a second. You'll see they have a lot of ultimates to work with. This is their best chance to take this one. It's going to be Mapu using that Graviton, and he actually falls down. It's going to be Linkser coming through. A big Earth Shatter there, able to knock down three members of Chinese Taipei, and Zonda trying to stay alive for Chinese Taipei. Big Death Blossom there. He's only able to get one player with it and just kills being exchanged inside of the point. It's going to be Finland coming out on top. And a lot of these engagements, Imzi in the back trying to stay alive, has Mapu there with him. And Mapu doing a fantastic job applying those barriers to his teammate, keeping him up. And you see Zappis putting down some shots there with Anna. And now you see Finland. They have control of the point, ZP. It's whether they can keep this hold. The problem is keeping control. They have suffered some casualties here. And the defensive respawns are coming in. They have not gotten a single tick here. So even though they won the fight, Anubis, with its advantage of defense, means that Chinese Taipei is still giving the ability to swirl onto point. But Taibu coming in. The death loss of picks up too. Finland still holding strong. Their reinforcements have come in. And Finland at the last moment here, well on their way to capturing this point. They have a full six back and in here, and Chinese Taipei is on the ropes. Oh, it's a disaster for Chinese Taipei. They used the nano boost on that last fight. They gave it to their Winston, got sucked up in the Graviton Surge. Now they don't have it to come here on the attack here, trying to take the point back, and that ends up being their downfall the end of the day and it's going to be Finland they're able to get both points do not have any time left so it was a good defensive stand from Chinese Taipei there in the first half you really I mean when you look at some of the stats you know Eddie Boss had a fantastic first half for Chinese Taipei so Zonda do some big things there on the Reaper so a good first half there for Chinese Taipei it was great for them, and really one key part that was kind of cool to watch is that Taimu, of course, one of the best Widowmaker players in the game when he does decide to play Widow, but Eddie Bost on the Ana was applying a lot of counter pressure to him, took him out multiple times in those Ana v. Widow fights. So Eddie Bost was a big reason as to why Taimu didn't have quite as much flexibility and room as he normally would have when playing that offensive Widowmaker. You get a shot of some of the players here. Mafu with a fantastic hat, I believe that is a Daffy Duck hat, if I'm not mistaken. I have not watched Looney Tunes in uh, God knows how many years, I believe. That's like what he's going for there with that look. Uh, I don't have one of those hats. I would like one, though, if uh, he can refer to me where to get one. But looks like uh, going into the second half, is there anything you're looking to see from Finland? From Finland here, I think they're going to be playing a more secure defense here. Where they're, not, I think they were going to be a little bit more aggressive at points. But here, I think they just want to try and drag things out. Where even if they lose point A, they want to drag enough time out of this so that they don't lose point B and they don't have to play for a draw. So Finland on defense uh, will go with Taimu on Winston, just showing how deep his hero pool is here. I mean, from Widow to Winston, and we know about all the DPS characters he can play. They all have him. Staying true on that Roadhog, it's been so effective, able to get those early first picks up. <laughs> Taimu not doing a good job hiding the fact that he will be playing Winston this one, as uh, he walks directly up to the Chinese Taipei spawn. Dora, well, as probably mentioned, not ideal. As mentioned, uh, Taimu doesn't really play tanks all that often in his normal roles in normal competition, but here in this exhibition, people flex a little bit more, and Taimu gonna do his best Miro impression here as he uses Winston to create space here for Finland and not let Chinese Taipei get the engagements that they're looking for. And it'll be Chinese Taipei going with Reaper here on Zonda. It was so effective on the defensive end. I like the switch here on offense because what that'll happen is when they engage, they'll be able to get in and actually have somebody to burn down these tank players. And you see Danny getting a hook of his own there at the beginning, though. It's Taimu able to take two out on Winston. It's going to be Himzi getting one as well. Danny having to back up, waiting for his teammates to come off the spawn. They are just throwing all types of stuff at him. Finally gets a hook on a Taimu. Not enough, though. He is going to fall in the early first push domination there by Finland of Chinese Taipei.
that now. Chinese Taipei has to go back to the drawing board here, ZP. They do have to go back to the drawing board. And what you can expect from Finland here is more of the same, where they are going to be more aggressive on defense. Taimu has already built up a primal range, which means that he's going to be even more aggressive here on this defense. He's going to get in the face of Chinese Taipei, and he's going to be creating all the space for his team as they sit back comfortably behind Linksu's Rhine Shield and just lay in poke damage and poke damage. You have the Winston leaping in, but here it comes.